hello everyone welcome to in five minutes so in this video we are going to see the more formulas of derivative so to start with we have derivative of tan x and we know that derivative of tan x is nothing but sec square x how we can find this derivative we know that tan x is nothing but sin x upon cos x so this is nothing but u upon v so we can apply u by v rule to find the derivatives proof is not required so just remember derivative of tan x is sec square x what is derivative of cot x so there is some relation between tan and cot so here will be since this is starting with co so this derivative will also start with cosecant square x so this is very similar that is since this is a tan it is sec square x this is cot x so this will be cosecant square x but since as I've taught you, this is starting with CO, so this will be minus cosecant square x. So what is derivative of sec x? And derivative of sec x and derivative of cos x are similar. So these two derivatives are similar. That is both have square. What is derivative of sec x? Derivative of sec x is sec x into tan x. So what is derivative of cosecant x? Derivative of cosecant x is cosecant x instead of tan x here we will have cot x but since this derivative is starting with co and i have taught you whenever term on derivative term start with c0 that is cos cosecant cot all these things have derivative negative so this will be minus cosecant x cot x so this is very simplest way to remember all this formula so next we have from now whatever I am going to write above the same will be written down but since here we have CO so this derivative will be 9 minus. So what is derivative of sine inverse x? Derivative of sine inverse x is nothing but root 1 upon root of 1 minus x square. What is derivative of cos inverse x? It is the same value that is 1 upon root of 1 minus x square since it is starting with CO therefore negative similarly here we have tan inverse x and cot inverse x what is derivative of tan inverse x it is 1 upon 1 plus x square what is derivative of cot inverse x it remains the same but since it is starting with co therefore minus so as you can see there is some relationship between this sine and cos forms the derivative pair tan and cot form the derivative pair so after this we have sec and cosecant forms the derivative pair so derivative of sec inverse x is 1 upon x times root of x square minus 1 this will remain the same that is 1 upon x into root of x square minus 1 but since it is co starting with co therefore minus so as you can see you have to remember formula only for this part and for other part it is just the negative so this is the basics of derivative which you have to remember in solving the sums in the subject max 2 so the other such basics we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures